you reading? What? What are you reading? Oh, Death Shot. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Sounds interesting. It's an Year 11's work. What's it about? Uh, nothing crazy. It's just a play about a guy trying to write a play. He's struggling with ideas and, well, he ends up dying after being the victim of consecutive unfortunate events. That ultimately becomes the entire play itself. Oh. Yeah, it's one of my favorites, though. I find it really relatable. I'm not really sure how that's relatable. Well, I've been trying to write my own script. Sometimes I feel like I'm going to become the victim of unfortunate events and die, just like the guy in the play. What makes you think that? I don't know. I think I just think too much. Do you do, you do any writing at all? A little bit here and there. Mostly poetry, but I don't really share it with anybody. I mostly keep it to myself. Have you ever gotten into poetry? Not particularly, no. Well, it certainly isn't the easiest thing to get into, but I think it's beautiful. Do you want to walk on the pier? So what's causing you trouble with your script? Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to write something important. Something ambitious. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, sounds like a good plan, right? Except, I keep getting stuck writing these existential philosophy pieces with twice as many questions as they do answers. And in the end, they make less of a statement than they do when they begin. I don't know. Maybe I'm just some special type of intellectual asshole or something. <laughs> so is that why you're down here alone reading a book at 2 a.m. at the pier? Trying to get some creative inspiration? Actually, I've uh, started to write something similar to this. It's pretty paradoxical. It's similar to the idea of a person who's desperately trying to write a play and ends up dying as a result. Except, it's kind of based off myself trying to write a script and hopefully accomplishing it. But I can't finish it because I don't know how it's going to end. You know, because I'm living it. Does that make sense? <laughs> Not really. How do you think it's going to end? I don't know. Hopefully me surviving. Pretty boring, I know. I think it's fascinating. Thanks. I appreciate it. I'm Jane. Sam. So, why are you now just introducing yourself? <laughs> I don't know. I was waiting until maybe you caught my attention. <laughs> well, that would make sense if I were the one to walk up to you reading a book alone at 2 a.m. down by the pier. <laughs> I was just being friendly. <laughs> hey, um, do you maybe want to grab some coffee sometime? When it's a little sunnier out, not 2 in the morning? People still do that? What do you mean? You know, get coffee. Like, obviously people still drink coffee, but do people still sit in coffee shops for hours on end talking about whatever they want? Oh, I think they do. Or at least in my scripts they do. Did you know that in Europe, instead of getting a few small breaks throughout a work day, they get one long break in the middle of the day to do whatever they want? Like, three, four hours in some countries. They just sit on cafes at the corners of every street, just talking for hours on end about anything they want. What a life that would be. Sorry, though, I forgot to answer your question. I'd love to get coffee tomorrow. Oh, you want to tomorrow? Sure, if you're free. Yeah, I'm free. I'd love to. Can I give you my number? Yeah. So, what time do you think you want to go tomorrow? In the afternoon, like the Europeans, but for like three hours. All right, tomorrow afternoon, three hours. That's why I'm going to be president of the United States. Good luck with that. We'll see if you ever graduate high school. Hey, I mean, you never know what could happen. Mr. Big Shot Hollywood writer over here, how are those scripts coming along? 
Oh, they're good. I think they're coming out good. Well, I mean, hey, if you ever need me to take a look, I'd be happy to. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, the writing's decent. I think people will really like it, though. I mean, forget the other people. It's, it's about whether you like it. Yeah, I guess that's true. And, hey, and sometimes I know you've, you've been struggling with ideas, but you got to give your brain a break. Even the best writers in the world, they can't slave away 24-7 on a computer. Definitely. Like my dad always said, everything in moderation. Everything in moderation. There's this constant battle in life between pleasure and pressure, and you just can't let one exceed the other. Anyway, I gotta get to work soon, but let me know if you wanna get a movie later or something. You know, I, I would, but I don't think I can. I'm actually uh, meeting up with a girl. Really? Who, who's the girl? Um, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I actually don't know. She's just some random girl who came up to me at the pier last night. Well, that's awesome, man. Uh, what are you guys going to do? I think we're getting coffee. You don't even like coffee. Yeah, well, I'm going to tough it out. Besides, it was her idea. Who drinks coffee in the afternoon? She said she wanted to do it like they do in Europe. Like they do in Europe? <laughs> what does that even mean? I don't know. Maybe I'll just call it off tell her I can't go. Come on, man. I was just messing with you. Besides, you can go hang out there and you don't even have to drink the coffee, you can just chill. No, it's just, it's what if we get coffee? And that goes really well. So we decided to get dinner. And that goes so well to the point where she takes me back to her place. Sounds great, right? But right before anything happens, we get in this huge fight. She kicks me out and says she never wants to see me again. And I mean, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world till I find out that her dad's the head of some huge production company responsible for creating some of Hollywood's greatest films in recent years. And he was this close to giving me an opportunity to direct a film. But because of the whole thing with his daughter, he blows it off. And now I'm back where I started, down at the pier at 2 a.m., struggling to write a script. I think you're overthinking it, because as far as you know, you go get coffee with her, and you guys start dating, and before you know it, you guys are, rather than sitting in American coffee shops, you guys are actually in European cafes and all this adventuring with her inspires ideas for a script you would have never even had if you didn't go get coffee with her. Yeah, maybe so. Look, you're going to go get coffee with her. And you're going to tell me how it is later. Alright, I'll think about it. I'll see you around there. The busy streets of Leon, cars guzzling, people busting, workers hustling, but tucked into the cafe on the corner, friends delighting, coffee inviting, one particular traveler, he is writing.